So ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while since I did a video, uh, but the reason I'm coming back is with regards to the recent, recent statements by a woman, you know, she's the member of parliament for Gedongori. And so um, this wonderful country of Kenya, you know, has recently been captivated by the gallantry, you know, the bravery and uh, the fighting spirit and the courage exhibited by the Gedongori member of parliament, Gadoni Wamoshomba, who has come out very clearly, unequivocally and unambiguously in opposition um, to the Finance Bill 2023. Um, and she does rightly believe, you know, that that bill is intended to not only emasculate, uh, but also um, weaken the Kenyan economy. Um, and she rightly believes that it is designed to impoverish and emasculate the Kenyan people. And I don't know what the intention of the authors of that bill is, uh, whether it's intended to, it's targeted at uh, making people more dependent on government. You know, that's also possible. Uh, but I will tell you that if the finance bill passes as presently um, designed, you know, it's 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 going to um, to make corruption the way of life in Kenya, and Gadoniwa Mushomba, you know, in this postulation of what are the reasons that she opposes the bill, has received a backlashing uh, from mostly um, the ruling elite in Central Kenya, led by somebody I like calling the Home Guard, Rigadi Gashagwa. He likes calling himself Mau Mau. But I believe um, whatever his forefathers did, um, he later became a home guard for the Khan regime. And uh, so because when people were fighting in the street, you know, he betrayed his own generation and the generations thereafter, you know, by, you know, going to bed with Khan. When he actually didn't have to, I mean, he was having a degree those days. Uh, meant that you can find a job anywhere. You know, he didn't have to be a DO. He didn't have to do the kind of human rights violations that he engaged in, you know, while serving in the Kanu regime. And so um, Gadoni Wamoshomba went ahead and penned a prophecy predicting, and I don't know whether this is accurate, but she did predict uh, that um, Ruto's will be a one-term presidency if Ruto or UDA doesn't change course. And in this prophecy, she describes, she describes uh, First Kings verse 22, in which she talks about King Ahab in his planning to go and attack uh, Gilead, or rather the lands of the enemy, and with the intention of capturing them. Um, he called about 400 advisors. Among them were prophets and uh, preachers and you know, leading men of the nation. And he asked them that, he told them about his plans, you know, to go and capture the enemy's lands. The kind of people he called were yes men who were just telling him what he wanted to hear. And so he asked them, this is my plan. I wanna go and attack the nation of Gilead. Do you think I'm gonna succeed? And these yes men, who in this case are people like um, Rigati Gashagwa, people like Dindi Nyoro, uh, they're the cheerleaders, you know, who are telling the king, yeah, you go marching, march forward, go and attack the lands of the enemy. And I believe that you're going to succeed. And so the king, you know, is wanting to go, but he calls, he asks one of the prophets who, was against the attack, and this is Prophet Mika. And Mika is asked, and Mika says that uh, that, and and Mika says that, hey King, <laughs> I don't think that you will succeed in this. I think that those people are strong. They know what they are talking about. They know what they are doing. They are good at war. I have a gut feeling you're gonna go there and be killed. So who is Mika in this story? The Mika in this story is Modoni Wagashomba. And who are the prophets and the fake wise men in this case? And so they are cheering along and telling him, hey, 
go, they are cheering Ruto on, who is the king, go marching forward. And Ruto, yes, Ruto is defying the call by Modoni Wagashomba, and he is intending to go ahead and march forward with the finance bill. And Gadoni Wamushomba is telling him, hey, guy, you're gonna go there and be slashed into pieces. You're going to be, um, you're going to be ground into minced meat. Okay, the king is not listening. So King Ahab went ahead and attacked the enemies in Gilead. Uh, he went to war, he was pierced by the sword and he died. Yeah, he died. Um, his kingdom was taken over. Uh, the nation had to be dissolved because now the king was gone and the nation had to surrender to the enemy. I see that happening to Kenya because um, we have folks in power who are grossly unpatriotic. Uh, they're willing to do anything for their own pockets, you know, for at the detriment of the poor people. And so um, what Modoni Wagashomba is warning is that uh, the finance bill is punitive, it is oppressive, it is scandalous, and that the ruling class must listen to its citizenry, which is what democracy is all about. That democracy is about the ruling class listening to the people. There is one common saying that the voice of the people is the voice of God. Vox populi, vox dei. I leave you with that thought. Thank you.